Hi gear shifters, welcome back. I am down in Harrisburg, North Carolina right now, right outside of Charlotte. I'm riding on Rocky River Road because I am on my way this morning to Motorcycles of Charlotte where they are going to work on Dusty Miles. I'm so excited. I am going to get all the regular service and maintenance done, but this will be the first time that I've had professionals look at it since I had my wreck um, over on old 105 when I took out a tree and also I need to get the controls dialed in so right now as you can see everything's kind of positioned how I have to hold my hands when I'm sitting well when I stand I need to rotate those a little bit and I thought that that would be a really fun video to share with you so you're coming along with me we are going to be taking the highway it's Saturday morning not a lot of cars are out right now so it's a nice easy ride I've been staying with my friends Paul and Melody and we went to our Speedway Hog Chapter meeting last night and dinner and that was a whole lot of fun to get to see my friends from down here and meet some new people and talk about all the exciting rides that are coming up this year. There are a few overnight ladies women's rallies that I'm going to be doing with I know Melody's in because her and I already have our tickets and our reservations for you know hotels and places to stay but we're hoping that more ladies will join us one's going to be in York Pennsylvania another one's in Maggie Valley North Carolina and in Fayetteville North Carolina all really great opportunities to get out and meet other women riders and just share our passion for these two wheel freedom machines. So the University of North Carolina at Charlotte is behind me. Some of these are like the apartments, anyone can live in them, but they're primarily student apartments. And uh, we're going under the light rail Charlotte's attempt to provide mass transportation, which it's a nice thought. They're still still struggling to really adopt it throughout the whole city, but they ran a line from the university that goes out, I think, towards the airport and then also uptown. So to try to connect the students. going to be turning here to get on I-85. I think we have to go south. Yeah, I-85 south. It is an absolutely beautiful day down here. I didn't check the weather, the temperature, but it, it really feels like it's in maybe the mid 50s. And it'll be warming up today. I've got to make it back to the mountains because it's supposed to snow tomorrow. And if I don't make it in today, I'm gonna have to wait till Monday or Tuesday. And I got things to do up there. So hoping to make it home. We are on 85 headed towards 77 because Motorcycles of Charlotte is directly off of 77. All right, so 77 is in a little over a mile. We're going to be going south towards South Carolina because the 
dealership is right near the state line of North Carolina, South Carolina, but I'm gonna have to get over. My hair's starting to grow back out. It's getting in my eyes. Come on over. Here's our exit. So motorcycles are free in the toll lanes here. That's a nice little benefit of being on two wheels. You can avoid the traffic and not have to pay for it. And I like it because there are fewer cars, so it's, you know, definitely safer on a motorcycle. And there's downtown Charlotte. They call it Uptown here. If I was going to my office, I would be getting off here to go straight into downtown, but we're going to head forward. The toll lane ends right here. It was nice while it lasted. Really not needed on the weekends, but during the week, traffic can uh, get pretty bad, unless it's a bank holiday. Bank holidays in Charlotte. There's nobody on the road. It's nice to come down and visit Charlotte, see my friends, and be able to, you know, go in and check in in my office and work from there for a day. But man, I do not miss this interstate at all. I will take my twisty mountain roads any day. And from where I live, I really have two options if I want to use a, you know, a certified BMW mechanic. I can come to Motorcycles of Charlotte or I could go over to Asheville. And the reason, they're both about the same distance, both about two hours for me. But the reason that I'm going to Motorcycles of Charlotte, other than the fact that I get to come visit my friends, is that the previous owner of this bike works there. And every bit of service has been done on the bike with the exception of one oil change and when I reset it and you know I've adjusted my change, just little stuff. But other than one, one oil change has been done by this dealership and there's been a lot of work done to it. And so I uh, wanted to make sure that I was using the same mechanics that are familiar with the bike. I mean, how, how lucky is that? Right now the bike has 106,747 miles. All right. We are getting close. We're only two miles away. As you can see, there's just more traffic, but this really isn't bad. I mean, sometimes this is just stop and go going to be getting off at exit 1A, so right by the state line. Don't want to get behind that. That would be ugly if some of that fell off. This is our exit. Westinghouse Boulevard, Charlotte, North Carolina, headed to Motorcycles of Charlotte. It's 
So that's it. You can see the Triumph sign on the side of the building. Here we are. All right, they open like in just a minute. Hello. Yes, Jordan is fine. <laughs> What's your current mileage? It's 106,000. Seven hundred fifty-four. You know John over in parts? He put the majority on. It used to be his bike. Tell me everything that you did to the bike. Okay. So the forks are resprung with pulling sh springs. The rear shock is the same. Um, the gearing, I switched from the F800 had a smaller rear front sprocket okay and a larger rear sprocket than the same year's f650 gs twin okay so it's basically the same bike just different wheels that type of thing so i put the larger front sprocket on and the smaller rear sprocket so it's one tooth bigger in the front and one tooth smaller in the rear and that took about 500 rpm off at 75 miles an hour okay indicated okay and then you changed out the front wheel right so the front wheel i want it to be tubeless because the rear wheel has been sealed by woody's wheel works so that you run tubeless so if you get a nail in it mm -hmm. you plug it instead of a tube where all the air just escapes so woody's does not like to seal the 21 inch wheels mm -hmm. so i bought a bmw hub Mm -hmm. and then sent it to Woody's and they built a 19 inch with an Excel rim their spokes. So when you're talking about seals, you're talking about it's sealed where the spoke hits the wheel. I'm talking about sealing underneath there. Right. That's cool. Uh, and then the MRA windshield uh, I put on after six other windshields. Mm -hmm. Which thank you, I have them all in my yeah, garage. Yeah. Yeah. And then I had, thought you have the stock seat on it. Um, which I've had mm -hmm. through, there are three seats the yeah and, sergeant Corbin and the stock yeah the Corbin is what I had for a while on mm -hmm. it it's just this one is more narrow and mm -hmm. so for me it was easier to climb on and off really quickly right. with the narrow one the other ones are definitely more comfortable yeah, if you're going from sitting to standing like on a dual sport ride the stock seat being higher um, Basically, it's a higher seat, but cut a little narrower. Mm -hmm. It's easier to transition because your knees aren't bent as much. That's what it so is. So you're not doing the squat. To, uh, yeah. yeah. And then I did the Tortec um, engine protection bars and upper bars. And then I put the BMW engine protection plate on because it comes up a little higher mm -hmm. to protect the oil cooler and oil filter. Mm -hmm. And there's pivot pegs on there, so mm -hmm. you know, when you're riding more on the street, you know, when, when you're braking, we're, we're standing up. Um, or on the other side, when you're shifting, you know, where your foot will go, mm -hmm. it doesn't dig one edge into the boot sole as much. Mm -hmm. It just initially felt a little weird when you're standing up. Because it's kind of, it's not solid. Right. Your eye, putting it up on a rear sand yeah. is really, really hard. And I don't know if, that, if that's because the that, size of the tire has changed. Right. So when I switched to the 19, mm -hmm. um, I was getting a, a bit of a high-speed weave. And to correct that, we tried bringing the uh, fork tubes down a little bit in the triple. Mm-hmm. And then we uh, had the rear shock shimmed. Fenda Extenda mm -hmm. is on the back just to keep more of the mud off. The Wait, oh, you're, oh, that's this extender. Yeah, that's nice. And then there's a mud sling on the back to keep the shock clean. Nice. Man, it's dirty. And then I 
put the tour tech engine protection or tour tech handguards on with extenders. Yeah. And that's a tour tech um, uh, GPS holder. Yeah, because he's gonna have to take all of this and then get to the actual adjustment and make sure everything's good. Yeah. Yeah, I'll. Uh, I'm gonna ask him to do that one. Awesome. Because I'll have him do it during the annual service checks. And then when he goes down and kind of goes through all of his checklist, the multi-point checklist that's going to be on the second page on that one, I'll have him adjust that in the play. Please. Awesome. Thank you. So they ran a diagnostic test on the BMW Motorrad system. They changed the oil in the filter. They checked the air filter and the coolant level. They adjusted my clutch. They checked my brake pads as well as the discs. I replaced my rear brake pads. They inspected the brake fluid and the brake lines and pipes and hoses and connections. They also checked the wheels and the spoke tensions, tire pressure, tire thread. They checked and lubed the chain drive. They also made sure that the side stand works. They checked the steering head bearings. And after that was all done, they allowed me to climb up on the bikes so that the handlebars could be adjusted. We just had to rotate them down a little bit. But now I feel like this bike is going to be super easy for me to stand up and manage the controls. I'm really excited about the service that I had done. I am going to get the suspension resprung, but I'm going to try to do that directly with Olean's. Thank you for coming along with me today to get my bike serviced at Motorcycles of Charlotte. I hope you enjoyed it. Special thanks to Alex and John and Hunter, and thanks so much for Mark for stopping by and running me back and forth to Best Buy so that I could get the little pieces and parts that I needed to get my maps updated. I really appreciated the team effort that everyone put in. I had a great day. It's always one of the coolest things about hanging out in a motorcycle shop all day are the people and you guys rock. So thanks so much for making this day awesome. If you haven't already done so and you like these videos, please take a moment and hit subscribe. And if you like the video, hit the like button, leave a comment, and I will see you next time.